All right, guys. Um, today I'm just going to show you a few things in Townscaper and um, the achievements and just how to kind of build um unique kind of structures. So here we go. Let's crack out. So here's a little one I'd started uh, earlier. I uh, built a big castle -y thingy there with a garden and a monument in the middle. Has a moat around it, which is not anything that unique. Um, the hook there is an achievement. Um, the lighthouse and the church there, and then the garden. So, yeah, start from scratch. Here we go. Right. So, first things first, I'm going to look for a, a town. Actually, no, do you know what? First things first, throw the grid on. Zoom out, and then we're going to go up, because I find all the circular kind of shapes are upwards. Um, what you want to do is, you want to look for some lines that create a circle or kind of looped shape. Um, and this is for the floating town. So, um, I find that, yeah, going up is kind of the, the best. I don't know, they just seem to generate up faster than they do down. So like here's a big circle here. So let's use this as a start point, okay? So if you hold it, you can drag it around. You can drag the whole thing. If you hold it too long, oops, uh, it'll start making um, what you call it, buildings on it. So we don't want that. I'm playing this in Xbox. That's why it's a little bit jumpy. So we want to fill all this in. See that? Back, 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 boom. Oops, oops. Um. And there, there's a circle. So that's what we want to start with, right? We can also do a lighthouse really quickly. So the way you do a lighthouse is you get the white color, put one white building on, and then the second one is a red one, and then that's a lighthouse. There you go. Bob's your monkey. Right, here we go. So we're going to fill in a bit of land here. Okay. I think you actually have to do two, two tiers high. So I'm going to connect all that together. Uh, like that. Nice. Yeah, lovely. Right. So now we have that done. Go as low as you can and just hold B. Get it rid of the whole bottom layer there. And this should turn into a floating city because it's a loop. So let's have a look. And join it all together. Do you know what? Actually, I think you need to do one one higher. Hang on. I'm going to hold that for a sec so everything's built back up. That's just the undo button. I'll do another layer. Sure, why not? See if I can fill in all the layers, actually. There it is. Because I might miss something. Didn't need to do that one there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I think that is full yeah full layer so um let's see if we move this now build some buildings on it like that right hopefully this works it's a perfect circle so couldn't get any better now do you see where there's no barriers coming up that means that when it actually does go it will float like that so there we go there's a floating city all right step one step two we make a garden Right, I can even make a garden on this. Sure, we can do it all on this. Look. Oops, doopsies. Ooh. Undo. There we go. Let's zoom in a bit. I like that star shaped building. So actually no, this is a circle. I can't do a, I can't do one thing on this. But I'll show you what I can do. Um do this kind of shape, right? So do you know what? The circle's not the best for it. Let's get a bit of, here we go, look at this. Rectangle land. Yeah, we will do that. We build on this. Boom, boom. Like that. And then I want to go across to there. Could do all sorts in this now. I tell you, a mouse would be much easier for this, but I don't have a mouse. Alright, fill all that in. Like that. That building's annoying me there, actually. Alright. We'll go for the church. Here we go. What you do with the church is you do three wide, one up, so three like that, 
and then same on the back. All right, like that. Oops, like that. And then all you do is you create a gap in this one, and that's a church door. That's all that is. So yeah. Other than that, we're going to get rid of this church building. And we're going to create a garden. So all you do for garden is create just not even a square. Just like connect them all together. And there you get a garden in the middle. All right. So now we'll see if we can do a, um, what you call it? A garden with pillars in this. I'm going to have to go far a bit, I think. All right, we'll go to there. Let's see if this works. I think you have to do it too high. There's a garden anyway, right? So I think if we get rid of that. Yeah, we need to do too high. Okay, so have my square or my rectangle even. I'm just going to do one more up like this. Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to put a hole there and a hole there. That'll create a path. Then in the middle, well, anywhere really, there, and then opposite it, that'll create your monument. All right. That's that done. We'll keep that there. Um, What else do we need? We need a hook. So to do a hook, what you do is you build, look, we've more squares here. This is brilliant. Yeah, I'll just fill all that like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oops, doopsies. Look at that. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to create a gap here. House there, house there, one on top of the other. Join them two together like that. Now what you do is you remove there and you remove there. And actually, John, yeah, you just need another bit of river there. And there's your hook. So that's what you need for that. Um, other than that, um, what else can we do? The garden. Um, let me check the achievements real quick. And uh, where are my achievements? Oops. 10 out of 10. How do you even look at them? Oh my god, how do you look at them? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to go and answer this. So there's another thing you can do where you, you do this and you can create washing lines, right? So, create a house here and then opposite it like this. Sometimes that will create a washing line in the middle. Not this time, maybe they're too far away. There we go, look, washing line. Sometimes you can get them to go all the way down, like they kind of zigzag and go all the way down the uh, down the road. Oh, there's more, look. See that? It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you can do kind of arches like that as well. Uh, if you fill that and do this like this, you can do this kind of arch like that. All right. Yeah, so I don't know. Other than that, I think that's pretty good. On this here, we can do crazy looking stuff because of the shape of it. So I'm going to put, kind of fill all the middle in, right? I'll show you what you can do with this. Let's see where I'm going. Just a little tiny bit there. Yeah, you get a roof all the way around, which is cool. You can go as high as you want with that as well. Like you can just keep doing this and it'll make more of these um like Yeah, like the just a roof all over. You have to do it all the way around. Uh it'll take a sec because I need to fill in those tiny bits. Yeah, once you do one out, you're gone. Alright, there's that. And there's this. Just keep going high and high. And then if you want to do something in the middle, you can do like a tower in the middle. Like that. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can do a garden or a pillar in the middle, actually. I doubt it here. It would be pretty cool if we could. Opposite? Can we even go opposite here? Not really. Can you go opposite there? There is no opposite of a hexagon. Is there? Is there an opposite? Yeah, there should be. Like there. And there, that should be a garden. Not too sure why it's not. I actually haven't uh, filled around with Oh, look at this. X gone before. Oh, would you look at that? That's fantastic. I love it. It's brilliant. 
There's another thing you can do as well if you do. I don't know if it's going to work, but a square, right? If you do a square and attach there like that, sometimes what happens is. No, it's too big of a square. Uh, it needs to be a smaller square. Well, that's a rectangle, technically, so. Alright, there's a. I'd say that's. Mm, can't put one in the middle. You can put one in the middle there. We'll try with this. So it does this kind of. Yeah, there we go. Look at the washing lines. It does this kind of weird shape. If you take away some of the. Uh, some of the walls. So take away that, 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 and then that. So, nah, sometimes it makes a pillar shape, which is pretty cool. But do you know why? Because it has a bottom. Yeah, the arch is like that. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's see if this works. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's the basics anyway. A hook, a lighthouse, a floating city, a garden, a garden with a pillar, and a church. Um, let's see if we have any that I've done uh, earlier. Right, so that was me fiddling around with different colours. That was me trying to build like a castle thingy, majiggy there. So there's a giant lighthouse in the middle of it. I was trying to do my first floating city. Couldn't figure out how to do it. Got my big arch there. Got my lighthouse. You can't actually go higher with the lighthouse, which is kind of annoying. Like if you do like like loads of whites, you'd think you'd be able to put red on top and it'd be like a giant lighthouse, but it's not. It does that. Unless I actually I haven't tried white, red, white, red. Let's see. Oh my god, you can. Look at that. Build a giant lighthouse. It also it only works with that colour as well, actually, so. Well, we figured something new out there. You can do a giant lighthouse. Didn't realise. Uh, let's have a look at any more that we did. What's this one? I think it's a funky uh, leveled town, is it? Or maybe I was just experimenting with different things. Yeah, the piers and stuff, I think it was. Um, and then the only one... Let's see. Yeah, I was trying to make a giant castle there as well. So that's kind of that. Um, did a little door. If there's a back, we can go straight through. Let's see. Let's see. We can actually do a moat underneath as well. But we'll see if we can go straight through. See them in a bit. Why will we center for me? Mm, not really, because they're kind of going off. Yeah. It's kind of ended up like that. Although it's kind of cool looking feature. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let me see. If you are on any other color and you press X, it'll pick the color for you. That's cool. The little pillars. Look at that. Jeez, I should have been an architect. Love it. Maybe we can have a little garden in here or something like that. Be nice. Ooh, what was that? The floating city. Uh, and then the last one I did, it's just... I wouldn't even worry about that big one. That was just trying to get to reach the sky achievement. So yeah, just keep building until you get to the sky. Um, and then place a hundred blocks, place a thousand blocks. They are achievements. And I think this is the one I'm most proud of because I've got a lovely little housing estate in here, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I've got this kind of hotel feature. I've got this church. I think it actually kind of looks like a church. Although, yeah, there's the door. That's the front of the church. Um, might actually chuck something in there because that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? That's better. Like the big arches there. This is kind of a cheapo apartment block, which I think is cool. They put their washing lines across the river. These have more washing lines. There is a way, if you get really narrow corridors, that these will zigzag back and forth. But I couldn't do it in this one. Um, I like the little pier out of the lighthouse. And now that we know how to do this, why don't we build more lighthouses? Or more uh, taller lighthouses. So, uh, 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 uh. I like that. Let's go higher. Oops. There we go. Look at that. That's lovely. A little star-shaped lighthouse. Cool. Um, and then this here is um, my castle. So there's an entrance there. And then if you go into the castle and look up here. Oh, actually, I actually, the other day, I, I removed the whole roof. But I must have put it back in. Uh, let's see if we can 
kid under there. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to take out this whole part because you get a roof effect. Yeah, look, the way it's like blank in the middle. Looks kind of better, I think. Yeah, I uh, have my arches in it as well there. I have this little piece here, which I think is kind of cool. The um, awnings and stuff, little balconies. Yeah, I just think that's a cool little feature. And these are the expensive houses with little garden. They've got this. Sometimes if you place houses down, they get these binoculars beside them, which I think are pretty cool as well. Um, See, that one didn't get it there. That one didn't either. It's fairly random, I suppose. Uh, and there's another one. What, what he's looking at, I have no idea. Looking at the people's uh, windows, I'd say. Um, yeah, like these little stairs effects as well. There's another little group of houses. Sometimes when you mix them to different colours, they create gaps in between. Which I think is kind of cool as well. And then, yeah, there's our hotel with um, balconies for people. Um little gap down there. I actually don't like that gap. I'm going to fill that in. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Little balcony there for them. Oh, yeah. So that's my little town. So, um, hope you enjoyed, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe as usual. And, uh, you know, let's get 100 followers. I'd absolutely love that I would. Or 100 subscribers, even. Uh, it'd really make the end of the year. So, yeah. Peace out, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.